What's going on, y'all? It's that boy Gam tapping in one more time. Just had to talk to y'all about something real quick today. Jada Pinkin and Will Smith. Damn. Not the Fresh Prince, man. Not Mike Larry. But, you know, I'm not here to clown Will Smith or judge their situation or nothing like that. Because, I mean, to be honest, it, it happens. It happened to some of the best of us, man. You know, everybody that had that experience. And it wasn't from no Jada Pinkett, neither. You know, it probably was from the neighborhood, you know, hood, rap, whatever. Whatever the case may be. But the thing that... It, First of all, I really I saw a little bit of pain in his eyes when he was talking to her about that. I, it, it hurt me a little bit. Like damn, Will Smith, he always was like one of the most optimistic, you know, uplifting people that I I had ever seen. Like growing up, just watching him throughout his career, he was always smiling. Even throughout this whole interview with them two, he was still, you know, joking, smiling. But you know, some people joke try to hide the pain but you could see it in his eyes and his posture a little bit you could tell it was still a little bit of a soft spot and I hated to see that like damn damn my will though not the Fresh Prince man but when you think about it man they've been together 25 years man this is something that happens in relationships man and when you really think about the way that they trying to handle it is very respectable. I, I can respect how they doing it because at least they talking about it. They they being open. But really, it's like they getting put on the spot because this situation is really not their, nobody business and whatever. This is some in house supposed to be something that's secret, you know, between them and but you know how the media get everything get out. But if you really think about it, man, the way that they handling it. The way that our grandparents and all of them, they was together 50 years, 60 years, all that. Same things was happening, but they just worked it. They worked through it. They got through it. They didn't leave each other. You know, they the grandfather might have 13 kids or something. And, you know, that's just how it used to be. They used to figure it out and stick together but nowadays you know the families especially in the black community it's real easy for them to split and lead the kids to be in a single parent house home all of that so i mean they trying to at least they trying to work it out at least they know how to talk through they because uh, to be honest i always knew that they was they was like a super couple not because i thought they was perfect but i just knew they had a different way of dealing with life I always kind of knew that and even with their kids, how they raised their kids, everything was just a little different, but but they was handling it and they were still a family. So that's just, at the end of the day, I think that that's important though, because if more people knew how to work through their problems, then, because you're going to have problems. But if they knew more people knew how to work through their problems, we would have more families that stick together because it's, it's real life, man. So. That's so all I wanted to say about that, though. I don't want to get too deep into it, but, you know, it's Gam tapping out. Check my links, Hill Boy, um, my single organic, uh, my video, timeline video, going global video, all of that going to be in the description.